How's it going, people? Guy on the internet who doesn't like reviews, and I'm a liberal. <laughs> yeah. So the reason I bring that up is because I'm doing this response video to the brand rules, who's a conservative, and there's nothing wrong with being a conservative. But in the grand scheme of things, the people who represent, represent Republican uh, conservatives are very stupid, greedy, and immoral people, which, you know, Brad, he says something about he's conservative because they're the people of laws and, you know, keeping order, blah, 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 and, and they have high moral whatever. Really? Are we still talking about the same Republican conservatives that passed out tobacco checks while voting on tobacco regulations? Are we talking about the same conservative representatives that get millions and millions of dollars from the NRA to vote for the NRA type things? Are we talking about the same uh, conservative people who don't want to pay taxes, pull guns on FBI agents, and then get mad at things that they should be doing? Are we talking about those same conservatives that uphold the law and are for America? No, I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't go together. That's why I can't stand conservative because they're hypocrites. And let's just get into the gun argument. So his whole thing is we should not have gun control. And, you know, it's 2018 and it's sad that you have to tell people that gun control isn't taking away guns. It's not, hey, we got gun control. We got sensible regulation on certain guns. They're not going to take your guns. And in the whole brand scheme of things, if the government wanted to take your guns, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, rednecks. I'm, I'm sorry, slack jaw yo the yokels. If the government wanted to take your guns, you and your shitty AR-15, your shitty handgun, your shitty this, shitty that, shitty shotgun, it's going to sound to a tank, a drone, any of those th things, if they really wanted to take your fucking guns. But it's not about taking your guns. It's about having regulations in place so that people with certain mental disabilities, like the shooter, like the terrorist, that happen that the terrorists that happened in Portland and all the other terrorists or whatever that shot schools or had mass shootings or whatever is to make sure that these people that have mental disabilities can't get guns and who's responsible for that who 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 conservatives who have been paid by the NRA for example this guy who just did the Parkland shooting he had, uh, I think, some kind of mental disease. If it wasn't for conservatives, he wouldn't have been able to get this gun. Why? Because Obama, he passed a, uh, I think it was a law or an amendment or whatever, saying that, hey, if you can't handle your own responsibility, you have some kind of mental disorder, you can't get a gun because you have a mental disorder. But no. The NRA, as soon as Trump got in, this is what they did. They rallied. They paid money just to get this law overturned. And then at a convention center, they're saying, like, hey, mentally ill people shouldn't have guns. You think you're fuck nuts? You think? You, I wonder why Obama passed that law saying that mentally ill people shouldn't have a fucking gun. And then you have a thing where they regulate bullets. Look. You give me all the bullshit you want. I am a gun owner and I need all these bullets. You can't tell me there's a legal, a, a reasonable explanation for a person to have over a thousand or five hundred. I, I would say even two hundred bullets is pushing it because you, if you're a hunter, you're not da 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 in the woods. You're doing you know uh, a precise shot, so maybe twenty, thirty at a time or whatever. But to stop power weapons, that doesn't send off a red flag anywhere to conservatives that, hey, maybe we shouldn't allow terrorists, domestic or foreign, to stop power weapons. And also, the NRA, they also pass this thing to where they would allow people on the FBI's most wanted list to uh, own guns. Yes, they, they lobby for that. 
<laughs> so yeah, the NRA, they're uh they're 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 those conservatives. Yeah, those are upstanding conservatives, Brad. And he brought up Chicago because why not? He's a conservative, bring up Chicago. It, it's like the scapegoat. Oh, gun violence. What about the gun violence in Chicago? We, we, ban, we have gun laws. Why is Chicago? Why why do they have so many gun laws? Well, <coughs> you use Google, which hopefully a lot of you do. You'll see the reason that Chicago has a lot of gun violence. Even though Chicago has strict gun laws, and it's very simple. The counties and the states around Chicago have lax gun laws, meaning that they can get the guns illegally from somewhere else. But if they had gun laws that were strict just like Chicago or around Chicago, hey, maybe they wouldn't be able to get those guns. You think? And then, you, you know, the black people shooting each other. Black, because you always got to blame black people. I'm not saying what Brad is, but that's conservative. You got to blame black people some way. And they're like, well, all the gun violence. <laughs> it's a non-point. Black people, if you if you concentrate the black people in Chicago, of course the number's going to add up because you're doing a precise number. But if you spread it out amongst all black people, all black people in America, gun violence among black people is low. But you know what's high? Gun violence among white on white people. And look, the whole the whole thing of black on black crime is so fucking stupid. There's no black on black crime. There's no white on white crime. It's just fucking crime. You think Asian people in America aren't shooting each other? You think white people in America aren't shooting each other? Come the fuck on. This whole thing of Oh, we shouldn't have gun violence because of black people or Chicago. It's just fucking ridiculous. You're you're focusing on a small number of black people in a concentrated area who get illegal guns from repeat it after me, repeat it after me. Guns that are illegal in other t that, that have less gun laws. Or gun restrictions than Chicago. And yes, criminals are going to get illegal guns. You can't stop that. But <clears throat> criminals in Chicago aren't fucking shooting up schools. And if you're you know you're still focusing on that black gangster element, it's only been conservative white males who really do the majority of these. Mass shootings. Um, it, I can't think of the last time I've even seen like a Muslim shooter in America. So even the thing about Muslim people, uh, yes, they are terrorists. They are, they are terrorists, but they aren't as high as conservative white terrorists who stop power guns without any restrictions, without checking their mental disability or mental health. They stop out the guns or just get the gun and they shoot schools. That that's really pretty much it. And I, in a way, this is gonna be kind of controversial. I wish we had gun laws like Japan. Oh no, not not gun not not gun not gun, <coughs> not gun laws and restriction. What are Chinese what are, what are China's gun laws? Well, first of all, they don't have the NRA in their policy in pockets. Second of all, in order to buy a gun, you have to be a certain age. Wow, what, what a novel concept to order, order a gun. You have to be a certain age. Like, I think 21 or so. You have to have a background check. Excellent. You have to have a mental background check. Wow, a mental background check. You own a gun. Oh, my God. Wow. That's so hard to do in America. Um, and then, what? also, you have to have a gun safety law, uh, gun safety class. Oh my God. They're, they're, that's too much for America. Gun safety class. And then you have, this is where, this is where I know it went past in America because most people own guns or, or it, it can't do that. They, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be able to do this, but you have to pass the gun you buy. You have to be able to shoot it at a 95% accuracy. 
I didn't stutter on that. I know I do stutter, but a 95% accuracy. Why? I, because they want to know if you can actually shoot the gun and handle it as a responsible gun owner. Oh, my God. This, and then <coughs> this is the thing that I, I would say this will stop it. This would not pass in America also. The police or inspector come around to your house after a year or so and check to see, hey, do you have this gun still? Have you sold it illegally? Or if you sold it illegally, you're going to jail. Can you provide documents? Is it locked up? Is it kept safe? I know what conservatives are going to say. Oh, yes, that will be the government. That will be the government infringing upon my rights. Wait, wait a minute now. I thought that conservatives love the idea of rules and everything like that. And I know that would be big government or whatever. But imagine the safety. It means, hey, if you buy this gun, you can't give it to criminals because, A, for one, if you don't have the gun, you would go to jail. And that that's what happens. Hey, you bought this gun. It's not here. Where is it? You don't know. You're going to jail. Simple. And I think that will put out, obviously, I don't have to think about it. I know that will put down a lot of gun violence and um, and illegal guns getting into criminal hands because, for one, criminals buy illegal guns, but in order for them to be illegal guns, they have to be legal first. So if you make it less possible to get guns legally so that people could sell them, there will be less illegal gun. And also, if you had something to where the person has to check in, hey, you buy this gun, where is it? I need to see this gun. Oh, it's not here. You go to jail. It's simple. It's so simple. But it would never happen because, for one, the NRA gets paid off of selling guns and they pretty much have the president and the GOP by the nutsack. So, you know, we have Boston paid Republican. <laughs> Brad. You're representing the you're representing the party that pretty much bought and paid for it by anybody. Like they're prostitute politics. And yes, I know that Democrats do the same thing, but to a lesser amount. God damn, Democrats take take that too, and that's wrong. That's completely wrong. I wish they would just get the money completely out of politics, and they will represent us. But hey, money, corporate, corporate money. Yes, master, we'll do what you say. People got shot. Oh, we're still going to allow people to get guns. And <coughs> I'm going to close up with this. Now, instead of taking you no know, responsible gun action or whatever, gun laws, what they want to do, because the NRA is their master and savior, um, I didn't want to give teachers guns in school. Oh, that's a smart idea because if a shooter comes in, they can shoot the person and become a hero. Look, no, it's, it's not like that. It, what, why do the conservatives think that, hey, more guns, less people? If you're at a school, and others say, I'm, 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 I'm a, a high school shooter or a school shooter. I'm just saying, you know, hypothetically, if I know you have an armed guard, What's to stop me from just walking up and popping the security guard, coming in, hitting the alarm bell, and the, hey, I'm, I'm just here. I'm a teacher. I got a gun. I'm walking in the hallway with my students. And you, you're still going to get shot. Look, having a gun with a teacher is does nothing but create massive stare. It won't stop anybody. It won't stop anybody from shooting a school. What stops People, whether these mentally disturbed people from shooting schools, is preventative actions. Not having uh, the math teacher scrap with an AK-47 in class and the English teacher with the 4-5 on her hip. That's, no, come on. If I'm going to shoot the school and I know you have these, I, I'm just walking to class, pop, pop. Especially, well, you know, since Republicans have made it easy because the NRA are their masters. Uh, to get a silencer, pop, 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 pop. By the time you're reaching for your gun, you're shot. You're, you're fucking shot. And then, what if one of the students, yeah, let's say the, the, the teacher gets his gun taken or uh, something happens. It's a lot of possibilities that go wrong with the teacher, but they don't care. 
the NRA wants them to sell guns because they own these politicians. So, <clears throat> like, like I said, I, I'm just still appalled that conservatives are fighting against gun laws. It, it, they can't be stupid enough to think that gun law means taking away their guns. They can't. It, it, it's got to be some kind of like troll or or something because some of the common sense would say, hey, yeah, I don't want a mentally disturbed man who's like 16 or 17 getting an AK-47 or AR-15 or a bazooka. I saw that on Twitter. Like, Somebody, you can ask me buy a bazooka when you're 17. Right? They, they say, all right, Thanks a lot. Hey, thanks a lot for allowing somebody to buy a bazooka. That's that's, that's real, by the way. Um, I'm I'm just ending with that. I mean, I'm I'm disgusted by conservatives because they allow you to think that. And then thoughts and prayers. Oh, like I saw more rope y'all on CNN. <coughs> Speaking of CNN, just to throw this in real quick, conservatives, you gotta side with the fake news shit. Just because you get exposed. Or like they bring up the media brings up facts and you want to say fake media, it doesn't change the fact that it's truthful or it's real information. I don't know how people like I don't know how conservatives even like allow Trump to start that stupid shit. Like, hey, you got caught doing this, Trump. That's fake news. Yeah, that that is fake news. I'm I'm really stupid because I believe that's fake news. And granted, there is some you know whatever, but for the most part. Look, that, that's the ultimate damage control. You you can pretty much catch Trump, uh, like slapping his wife. You slap your wife on camera. No, it's not. It's fake news. Dumbass in Kentucky. Yeah, that's fake news right there. The fuck? Like only conservative, only conservatives. But um, <coughs> yeah. Whoa. What was I gonna say? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, uh yeah, uh, yeah. That that was it. So. Gun control, we need it. It doesn't mean taking away your guns. It just means regulations so that crazy nuts can't stop our weapons and get weapons to shoot up schools. And also terrorists can't get guns because the NRA pays people to make those law happen. Let's get some gun control, conservatives. Let's do it. I mean, <coughs> I don't got to hear before I cough a lump. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.